We're still in quartzite. I think I'm going to be here for a little while longer. Dodger's inside right now. He's still recovering from his injury, and he's going to have to go into surgery. I'm still trying to iron all that out. As a nomad, things are kind of kind of funky. You know, trying to do those things, like those errands and things like that. Um, I'm still kind of getting used to it. You know, me and the dogs, we've been living like this for a few years now. And actually, I should make an announcement that uh, if you look on our channel here and look at our videos, we're into uh, season four. So officially, I'm calling it. This is season four of the Got Out channel. I didn't know what to make the video about today, but I was just hiking around with the dogs. And there's been people camped over here at these campsites right by, right by our site. But the last, the last person that was camped here, they're gone. I mean, they left uh, a few days ago. Here, let, I'll show you what I'm talking about. See, this is the fire pit that I've been using right here. And then just beyond that, there's a couple good campsites that people have been using kind of off and on. Uh, there's one guy that was here. He was here for a couple months anyway. And uh, back in the wash here, I mean, I don't know. Maybe this isn't, I don't, this is the kind of thing that's interesting to me. You know, we're out here in the middle of the desert and you find something and you just kind of want to check it out. The sun's coming down right now, so it's starting to get a little bit cool, but in the daytime here, man, it is pretty warm. Oh, it's right here, <laughs> this thing. And there's people out on uh, motorbikes right now. So if you hear if you hear the motorbikes, that's that's what you're hearing. So somebody left. It looks like part of their like cooking kit and stuff like that here, and the lid's open. We had rain, so it must have got rained on. I mean, I think somebody just left this here because they wanted to trash it. They just decided they don't want this crap. There's nobody else out here. Like I'm the only person camped in this area at all. So as far as I can tell, this doesn't belong to anybody. Um, I'm gonna dig through it and see what's in here. And then, and then I'll take the rest of it and I'll just throw it in the dump. Here at Quartzite, it's awesome because you get access to uh, unlimited water and there's a huge dumpster. So if you pay your, uh, you know, your, your permit fee, you can use all that stuff. Plus the, uh, the RV dump, which man, it's, it's such a great way to live. It's it's like 25 bucks a month is what you end up paying. You know, it, we're paying more because we're not staying the full seven months. We're just here for a few months. But one thing that, you know, nomads do is they get kind of scroungy. You know, every little thing can be used for somebody else, like in a different way. That's a nice tray. It's got a crack in it. Sorry, I really don't know what's going to be in here, but it... It could be something I could use, but it's probably just trash. Because why would somebody leave it here? My mini? Oh, that's like a egg cooker or waffle maker kind of thing. Shoot, I could find somebody's like bag of poo in here. It doesn't look like... Uh, I'm not getting the vibe that this is like stolen. Somebody stole stuff and then stashed it here, but it's possible. Like a rubber bowl. I'm pretty pretty well kitted out. Like I don't really need much stuff. Mm, I don't know what I'm gonna find in here. Some brackets. Those are good good brackets. Boost oxygen. That's somebody's pee bottle. Probably. Mini waffle maker. So, Teflon, cook pot, 
Yeah, this is gonna be all trash. Could be somebody could have st stolen this from somebody's campsite and just taken whatever was good in here. Possibly. But it does kind of look, this is it's just junk. So, yeah, it's a bummer that that's another waffle maker. And then another Teflot thing. There's some mouse traps. I feel like that's something I could, I mean, I, I don't like using, I don't like killing mice, but if I needed to, I would. It smells kind of weird too. Actually, it smells like cologne or something. Whole house replacement filter. So if you go to a, uh, the dump. People will leave stuff like this out for people to dig through, so maybe that's where this came from. But it's too bad somebody just left it out here. I don't want this to be out here in the desert like this, so I'm going to toss it. I'm not going to dig in there any deeper because I didn't find anything good yet. And this green thing. Oh, a scorpion. Right there, you see it? That's one of the first scorpions I've seen. Whoa. It's a little one. But that's cool. That's a good warning to like keep my eye out. <laughs> the scorpions. This is the desert. So in here, I think I'm going to find a, I'm guessing like a barbecue thing. Shoot, if it's a chair, oh, it's a table. It's like a camp table. Oh, that looks kind of cool. And then this is like, is that a chair? So there's really nobody else around here. It says camping table. Because otherwise, like, I'd be afraid, you know, some grumpy old guy. Oh, there's a scorpion back here. I gotta be careful. <laughs> some grumpy guy will come back here and be like, what are you doing rummaging through my shit? But there's nobody else camped here for, for days now. So this, I don't know, is that something I could use? It's kind of cool. I don't want you to think that Quartzite is a trashy area. It's really not. It's it's pretty clean. And I think that's mostly because there's a lot of campers out here. So people are picking up after each other. You know, if somebody leaves stuff out. I've done it before. I've picked up like, a, you know, a tent that got blown out into the wash from the wind. Um, you know, stuff like that that gets blown around. It gets into your camp and you clean it up. So quartzite's like, it's really clean out here. A lot of the places I go to, like in the woods and things like that, you'll find trash and you can look at some of my old videos and you'll see that, yeah, we found some nasty campsites. And sometimes if we're out hiking, you know, I can only carry a little bit of trash and sometimes I'll find big stashes of just nasty, nasty junk. This is a really good place to camp. And if you need a place to stay just for a couple weeks, you should come out here because there's tons of places in, in Quartzite where you can stay for completely for free. You know, the rule is two weeks on BLM land. Um, and then these areas, you do have to have a permit, but that permit is really cheap and you can get a two week permit here for like 40 bucks, something like that. They've got all kinds of good services in town. And I've been hitting like the discount grocery store. I've been finding the little little grocery stores in town. There's the Roadrunner and the Coyote Market. And the Roadrunner is uh, my favorite little market right now. 
the groceries there are, you know, they're pretty expensive. <laughs> they're about 50% more than you'd pay like at uh, Walmart or whatever. But for the convenience of it, I gotta say it's worth it. Um, you know, I went in there today, I just got like a block of cheese and onion and like five bananas it was like six bucks. There's other stuff, you know, that I that I do want, but it's too expensive. It's not really worth it. You know, avocados are like two bucks a piece, that kind of thing. But you go to that discount tent and they got cheap food in there. You're not going to find avocados and fresh vegetables and things like that, but you're going to find canned goods and all kinds of breakfast cereal, all kinds of like cliff bars and uh, protein bars, all different kinds, tons of candy, like all name brand stuff too. It's not like weird, like Chinese food or anything like that. It's like brands you haven't heard of. It's all name brand stuff. And some of it will be expired, you know, a few months. Um, but a lot of it's not even expired yet. And some of it is even has an expiration date that's two years out still. I'm kind of learning quartzite like a little bit different. I'm doing things a little bit differently this year. Last year I was going up to Parker to get groceries and uh, it's a long drive but it's a lot cheaper up there in Parker <laughs> to get groceries. I haven't done that this year uh, but honestly I am kind of low on food. <laughs> I'm kind of cheap when it comes to food and I like to get nutritious food, you know, can of beans, that kind of thing. Like, you know, good good quality bread, uh, vegetables. I like to get like asparagus, avocados. I miss avocados right now. Oranges, bananas, eggs. They got eggs in town and they're a good deal if you buy the medium size. If you buy the large size eggs, they get kind of pricey. You can see back there, there's one person in a motorhome, and uh, that's pretty much, oh, that's all that's in this little area that I'm in, this little pocket here. It's just me and that one other camper back there. What were you expecting in today's video? This is this is our life. It's pretty chill, pretty simple. I went into town today and did a few little errands. It was hot today. But I feel like I got a lot done just going into town and getting those things done. So now tonight, basically our night is dogs. I already fed the dogs. They're going to go inside and they're going to lay down in there. I'm going to cook some food for myself. I bought some frozen burritos at the, at the, the not the Coyote, the Roadrunner market. They're 89 cents a piece. They're really crappy burritos, but I like them. I put some extra stuff on them. I got some canned tomatoes from the discount grocery store and some really good hot sauce. They got a lot of sauces at this store, this discount store. Two bucks a bottle, three bucks a bottle. It's good sauce. And I got sauce, it's like, it's a couple years before it expires. So I'm gonna make some food and I'm gonna stream some Netflix, watching The Batman. I watched The Joker the other night. And these are both really good movies. I'm looking forward to finishing The Batman. Uh, Pattinson. Robert Pattinson? Is that his name? That's a good movie. It's like three hours long. And this is the kind of stuff I like. The one thing that's really different about our lifestyle right now is Dodger is injured. Because normally we'd be hiking a lot every day a couple hikes and usually once a day i'll take a, a fairly long hike out into the desert with the dogs and we just run around out there and explore 
And you can watch our videos and you'll see us do that. And I'll do that in some upcoming videos too, because there's a lot to see out there. But since Dodger's injured, it's just it's kind of not fun to go out there with him without him. It goes a lot of fun too. Like, don't get me wrong, but we need our our mascot, and that's Dodger. Plus, he's our guide to get home. When I go out there without without Dodger, I have to pull my phone out so I can find my way back. <laughs> Pretty simple. It's a good time out here. I just love it. You know what's funny is I posted a video a few days ago about these people that came in and camped really close to my camp. And uh, you should go <laughs> check out that video if you haven't seen it and read the comments down below. Because, uh, you know, there's some, you know, negative comments. They're like saying I'm complaining and whatever. It's all good. But out here, I really don't have anything to complain about. Anything that happens out here, you can just fire up your rig, hook it up, camp anywhere out here. You got noisy neighbors or people with dogs. Dogs that don't like Echo, which I haven't met any dogs that don't like Echo yet. Well, they, they're scared of him at first, but... He's, he's really friendly. He's just a little too friendly. That's his problem. Got an ant colony over here. There's, they got holes all over here. I marked it with uh, some rocks so I don't step on it. I'm sure they bite. When you drive into town, it's getting pretty deserted in there. But I ran into one guy and I overheard him telling the story to some other people that he was riding his bike on the sidewalk across the freeway here. And he said someone pushed him out into the street because they were upset that he was riding his bike on the sidewalk. But there's, that's the only place you can ride your bike. And everybody does it here. People ride their uh, their powered bikes, you know, their battery battery powered bikes on the sidewalk. And you go anywhere here, like in any of the little stores, anybody you meet, anybody in the in any of these camping areas, they're generally really calm and friendly. So if you have a question or you need help or, um, you know, if you don't feel safe or whatever, if you meet your neighbors or you talk to a few people, you're going to feel really calm. I know somebody posted a video, uh, her channel's Glorious Life on Wheels, and she has a really good uh, presence, the way she, and she's really informative what she talks about. Like She knows, it seems like she knows her stuff. But there was an incident here in one of the LTVA areas and apparently this lady got a rock thrown through her back window. And I mean, 
the story that she tells is, is pretty horrible. It's scary, but it sounds like it was just a couple kids on a side-by-side -side and they were screwing around and they threw a rock through this, this lady's window. Which is pretty bad, it's really bad. But stuff like that happens and uh, that's the worst story I've heard out here. I guess I'm just saying this because when I came here last year, when I saw how many people were here, I was like, who would want to camp in this area with like, it's just camper after camper after camper all around Quartzsite. It's packed. I mean, it's packed. If you come here like January and February, it's so packed. But you can still find areas that are secluded away from other people. If you just take a little bit of time and you're willing to drive away from the main road, you can find little spots. And that's what I, that's what I do. But I was apprehensive last year. Uh, but once I found a spot and I moved around, found another spot, I started to really like it. And, and the people are much quieter here than any of the other places I stay where there's people around. Because you'll, you'll tend to get like weekend partiers. Out here, it's people that are out here for like the long term. You know, a few months kind of thing. A couple months. So they're just much more casual. It's a slower, slower pace. And uh, that's something I appreciate. All right, well, uh, now that you guys are all chilled out, just like me and the dogs, hit that like button. Let us know you're watching. We like to know you're watching. And uh, we'll see you in the next video.